I've got approximately two hours off, like I always seem to do. Two hours seems to be the benchmark for either my metal detecting hunts or anything else I want to do. So I've got two hours to have a look in the local streams and up the rivers near the place where I used to live to see if I can find any bottle tips. And me and my brother used to ratch about all over the place, up the ditches, up the streams, cliff sides, all over the place. And we found quite a few bottles in our early days, which must have been a good 25, 30 years ago. I can't remember where we found the best stuff, but hopefully I'll be able to find somewhere where there's a proper bottle tip. This is really just a fact-finding mission. I'm going to have a very quick look up the streams, up the valleys, see if I can find anywhere where there might be a bottle tip. What I'm doing here, I'm working my way up the little streams that go up to where there used to be some sort of civilization, and I'm looking for bits of pottery. When the trail of pottery runs out, I'm then going to start looking in the bank sides to see if I can find a bottle tip. This is pretty much where the trail of pottery and the glass runs out, and sticking through the side of the bank here, I've got a few bits of pottery and glass. Looks like an old ash tree or something that. Of course, the ideal thing to use is a fork, but I must be one of the only landscapers in the northeast that doesn't own a fork. Hence the little metal detecting speed. So I'm just gonna carefully pull bits of the bank side off, try and find bottles. So I'm gonna have a little dig in here and see if there's anything worthy of note. Bit of red pottery there, looks like another ash tree, there must have been big smokers. Nothing of any sort of consequence in there unfortunately, just mid 1900s rubbish, mostly pottery. Certainly no old nice bottles. I was just working up a little side stream there. The main stream's behind me, down a very steep hill, so I'm going to go back down there, see if I can pick up any more trails of pottery. There's a bit of pottery just in the middle of the screen there. Uh, another few bits there. I'm going to follow the stream up until I kind of lose the trail of pottery. Then I'm going to start looking up the bank sides and into any side streams. At the side of the stream here, just off a corner, there's loads of glass and pottery being washed up onto the sides. Nothing sticking through that exposed bank, unfortunately. But if there was, I would start digging there. Just in front of me there's at least half a dozen bits. So the trail hasn't stopped yet. I'm gonna keep on going. Here's a couple of promising signs. Nice big thick glass bottom and blue glass. I'd like to find the source of that. I'm probably about 700 yards downstream of the village now. That is the new village. A little bit of pottery, a jar, 
nice ornate top to a bottle. But I'm kind of thinking that past this gorge, I know there's a couple of waterfalls, and there used to be an old mill. Somewhere up there, there's got to be a bottle tip. Just come round the corner here, you see this is definitely man-made. Possibly where the water came out when there was a mill just up on this hill top here. I would imagine so anyway, it's kind of in line with the mill race. But I've never actually noticed that before. This is where I'm supposed to be climbing up but there's quite a lot of water in the river. And there's also a tree falling as well. So that's going to make it a little bit tricky. Too bad. Straight away when I come up here, it's bits of pottery and glass all over. Lovely big thick piece of black glass there. Now then here's a little side stream. I can't see any pottery or glass in the mouth of it but there is a modern tip up the top of here so I'm going to have a walk up there and see if there's anything up there Now in here there's just a nation of old barrels asbestos sheets tin sheets old tyres wire all sorts of galvanised buckets and everything it's obviously a modern farmer's tip but uh, at the top of here there may be something older Unfortunately, it's just modern rubbish. No glass, nothing old at all. Here we've got a beautiful pool at the bottom of this waterfall. Absolutely lovely. If we've got a little bit more sun in England, it'll be a lovely little swimming pool, this. But at the side of it, just up here, there's some more modern rubbish tips. And there's a bank side going all the way around there, so I'm going to have a look up there and see if there's anything there. Well hey, first whole bottle, but unfortunately it's a modern wine bottle, no good at all. It's quite a nice coloured bottle, it says something on there, not, not to be taken. But it's a beautiful colour, I'm definitely taking that one, get it cleaned up. I'm quite near where the old mill used to be and there's a mill race comes through here very overgrown and obviously not in use now and it comes into here it's pretty hard to make out but this has got a raised bank side around here and this was used as a storage pond and then just over there it would drop down and drive the water wheel so that's our storage pond there water would come down cascade down here and it's pretty hard to make out but there's a big indentation in the ground there and I imagine that's where the water wheel sat and the water would drop down and drive the wheel There's a lovely part of an old bottle. This is just down below where the big water wheel would have been. And it's got Black Hole Mill written on there. That's the name of a village approximately five miles downstream. I just wish that one had been whole. Um, there's quite a few bits of pottery scattered about the bank side here, but there's no obvious place where there would be a bottle tip. 
So I think I may come back here with a fork, once I buy one, and just start probing the ground, see if I can hear any glass. I just switched the camera off there, and behind the camera I noticed another bottle. Unfortunately it's got the top missing. It's obviously some sort of medicine bottle. It's got tablespoons measured out on there. Another nice thick black bottom end there. There was three bottles in more or less the same place towards the end of the hunt near where there used to be an old mill and that looks like a very likely place to go back with a fork and start probing the ground seeing if there's any more bottles there that might just be a bottle tip so hopefully I'll get back there soon and you can join me and see if we can find some nice bottles now as I said I used to go around looking for bottles when I was very young and I don't know what happened to those bottles so at the minute I've got no bottles in my collection at all 1876 on the bottom sorry 1878 so that's quite a nice find it's in good nick as well so given that I've lost my old bottle collection this one will be the first in my new bottle collection thanks for watching I'm going to give it a good clean up and that's the first one in my new ah! I was just about to I was I just switched the car